So, um, we are already 7 minutes in, um, but I just want to make sure that I have everything covered here. Try and wing it. So, uh, <laughs> because I'm, um, yeah, there, there are at least uh, six, seven people involved with the conscience library, and um, some, many of them are doing much more than I. Uh, but I'm happy to to give the overview. What we wanted to do is to share with the wider community to see, number one, with respect to curation, for example, therein. Um, the one thing that we see that could come from the regenerative finance uh, refi bootcamp that Long Tail Financial is organizing uh, is that we could also alongside uh, have a curation from refi bootcamp for this library as an example uh, on, on a very interesting uh, emerging topic of course. So it would be very very cool if you guys come from that perspective and, and see how you think you could contribute or how we can help you also um, to, to create a curation alongside um, the Refi Bootcamp or maybe in preparation to it if you have some ideas how working on creating uh, a curation for the library could also be a learning opportunity for participants. That's one thing. We can show you the current Omega collective curation test that we have. Open up in a different tabs and I can show you all the resources that we have. Let me pull. Yeah, if, if please, um, we're, we're not so many, maybe uh, Steven, Taz, Irenios. Yeah, if you just quickly tell me where or tell us where you come from, um, would be perfect. Hey. Uh, my name's Steven. I'm located on the west coast of Canada. I'm a friend and an associate with Sean Anderson. And I'm jumping in to uh, collaborate with Longtail. Excited to learn more about the TEC. And cool. Um, hi, Taz. Yeah, uh, I'm also located in the west coast. I stay in uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, and I work with Longtail, and I've been working on the proposal for the bootcamp refi. Who wants to get, go next while I'm uh, calling out, the, calling the people in? I can go next. Um, I am Yemi, and I'm in the TV. I came to this call because I have been dropping in different work groups uh, calls so I can get a sense of mm -hmm. what each is doing and deciding where is my well, my, my contribution and or my place or my resonance. So that's why I'm here. I was thinking about the Imaginarium and it's a different call, but yeah, I'm, oh. I'm here looking at Perfect, thank you. And, and Steph has come. He is um, a core contributor, I would say almost, uh, to the Token and Dream Conscience Library. Um, so I, I'm sure Steph, we, we get uh, when I do the tour, it would be great that you also comment a bit to your contributions. Um, who else does Pedro? So basically, we have LTF on board seriously so <laughs> almost uh, let's uh, make and uh, let's make use of this to get some feedback from you all and also how um yeah how we can help to create the to create the curation for a potential refi bootcamp refi ltf bootcamp curation for the library can you see my screen everyone Yes, so uh, in Omega we have multiple, we have an archipelagos, this is such a Figma board with islands and Token and Dream Conscience Library is one island and if you click on it you land here uh, in its own. I just give a short overview, uh, what, what did we do uh, differently? Oh, Letty is in here. Ah, okay, okay, good, then we just go, go ahead. 
so um how we got about this as i mentioned the way we work on this library um is also an experiment that we want to take um into yeah do do it differently uh, work differently that we don't just uh, look at funding coming in and that's the only energy uh, source but actually um all sorts of energies food for thought that we are digesting and also the exchanges and uh, that we have i don't know if you know the um, eight forms of wealth framework that we acknowledge there are many many uh, other forms of energy coming in and that we can provide so this is how we set up uh, and this is how we are uh, you know oftentimes resisting to fall back to business as usual sometimes it's difficult sometimes we are in flow but this is also uh, just a hint that we work differently um, this is basically people saying what they are going to likely contribute. We did a session on vision. Uh, in the beginning, I was like, what is the vision of the library? Who is the leader? <laughs> and it's all about self-leadership, right? And, and also in Participator Network, it is becoming more and more about co-visioning and uh, to actually make use of the agility and anti-fragility of, of, of a swarm, right? Uh, or at least these are the things that we uh, expect ideally in these new forms of organizations and we see and, and believe that we also need different ways of doing. And that's actually something that um, Pedro also shares in preparing the LTF bootcamp. So I uh, really am excited to see that resonance there. I will just zoom in. Um, into this area. This is basically uh, what we do with uh, value flow diagramming. It's a very simple one, but it helps people to align to see at one step, you know, after such a session, okay, what are the values that we saw and that we agree will make, uh, you know, will want us to make this library exist and contribute to it. And actually, these are not visitors, but learners. Uh, I was just did that. And basically, what we agreed or what we saw was... <laughs> so, uh, and it has to be transdisciplinary. And that was clear. Like, uh, if, if people know the crypto economics flower, that's the whole point of token engineering or crypto economics that we say, hey, it's not even just uh, crypto uh, and, and computer science slash um, or, or times um, game theory, but there are many, many more disciplines that actually deeply inquire into uh, coordination of resources, um, allocation of resources and coordination. Um, for example, management science or operational research, AI, um, you know, optimization, control theory, systems engineering. These are the engineering heavy topics. But as I had mentioned, also ethics, uh, philosophy, decision science, psychology, neuroscience, biology, even, uh, you know, these are um, also areas that look into what, what makes people uh, tick, what makes people do things. Uh, maybe even beyond uh, tokens, so there are also environmental design um, that, that comes out of this exploration of the crypto economics flower. So we said the library has to put forward this disciplinarity. Normally when you are in a library or in, in academia, in our medieval institutions, <laughs> um, typically you have silos, right? You have a conference, it's based on uh, just one domain and you have to really make sure it's only in that domain to get published and so on. And many academias uh, know this, that interdisciplinarity and transdisciplinarity is actually um, well slashed or punished even uh, when you think about publishing uh, as the currency of <laughs> academia. So um, that's that. So we said, okay, the curation should be really uh, collective, it should focus on the transdisciplinarity, and it shouldn't be you know, just one person saying, okay, I'm going to do curation for uh, computer science. 
uh, and how that relates to crypto economics, but really multiple disciplines behind each re reference that we make in that curation. That's the challenge, and, and I think that is going to be also the most valuable uh, lens. Then connection. That is something, um, yeah, uh, uh, Nick isn't here, but I just want to acknowledge especially her vision of, um, of the library again, uh, because that um, value of connection, you know, that you don't just go through a list of uh, references by yourself, but that this library can also create connections between experienced token engineers or these organizations that do curations uh, and learners uh, so that uh, is also a value that we see and as mentioned, um, especially Nick, but also Letty and others are really uh, pushing for. So uh, who are the people who will provide or who are the roles uh, in big quotation marks uh, who will provide these um, values? We said, uh, and that's also really amazing about Omega and especially this. Uh, initiative is that we have a lot of artists, visual, audio, video, dancers, movement, <laughs> uh, who are contributing and who are really looking into the novelty aspect, uh, but as well as how to connect all the other values through uh, multimedia um, and also through maybe Satori will add a few words to that um, or, or others please jump in um, you know uh, there is uh, um, or there, there are designs currently evolving that um, look into um, yeah, NFTs uh, first of all for acknowledging these contributions and collections but also as part of a self-discovery game so that's that's pretty uh, pretty neat um, guides, as, as mentioned, uh, people who truly care about uh, token engineering, specifically also this library, and who care about the people, you know, not everyone is a people's person, but uh, luckily we have uh, quite a few of, of them here contributing to the library. They really look into the experience and, and how we can connect or we, we can make connection part of the experience. Um, of, of learning uh, through this library. Um, the curators, as mentioned, um, uh, we are now going for collective curations. We have different versions um, and we looked into, but so that collective curations will be the most valuable, showing the transdisciplinarity and also already having a quality uh, you know, in, in small curations, people doing the curation, already adding more qualitative information and chats and uh, discussion um, around a curation already, then that would be, of course, uh, additional uh, value add with respect to connection. Then, of course, we will have the builders of code and community, like any, <laughs> uh, any digital asset. And uh, um, and learners, as we say, uh, could be also, or they will be also curators, uh, because as we know in token engineering, uh, you never have learned enough. The more you know, the, the less you, you know, the less you know. <laughs> um, so these are basically um, how people or how different uh, roles uh, will be contributing or, or creating value. Um, good, that's a quick overview. Does anyone uh, from the participants already have a question that we um, maybe guide the tour accordingly? 